Good morning. It is the 24th of August and I've just completed a park run, so I'm a little out of breath. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will and you're watching the Iron Will Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. This week, another week in my training leading up to the marathon, which is now in three weeks from now until the marathon. So it's really approaching fast. Uh, so last week I did a long run, which was 31 kilometers on the Sunday evening. That went great, uh, took me about three hours. And then on the Tuesday, I went to go see my podiatrist. I had a scheduled appointment. And one of the things that my podiatrist did at that appointment was, well, first of all, he changed the exercises that I'm doing a little bit in terms of the eccentrically loaded heel drop and raise. So now I'm doing it with a seven-ish kilogram weight and I'm doing uh, four sets of eight reps on each leg um, and I'm only doing it three times per week but I'm still keeping up of course with the foam rolling and the ice but also at the end of the session one of the things he did and actually seemed to help a lot uh, was dry needling so it's similar to acupuncture where you put little needles uh, they're about a quarter of a millimeter thick and they're all sterile so they're all one use only and you see sticks them into my calf muscle and in and around the tendon itself so I got that on both my legs uh, it was a bit of a painful experience but afterwards so the rest of that day felt a bit crap in my legs of course because I had needles sticking into my muscles and tendons but later on that week uh, my Achilles tendonitis, when I was walking around, normally I'd feel it when I'm walking around, but later on the week, I barely felt it at all, which is great. So it definitely did something. I really hope that with all the rest of my strengthening exercises, my stretching and my icing and all these treatments that I'm doing for my Achilles tendonitis, that this really helps sort of long term and helps me achieve my goal in the marathon which is coming up in three weeks. So I've been doing most of my running in my Kung Fu slippers which is great. It helps uh, with the strengthening and lengthening of the tendons and the muscles around that area. But then the funny thing today when I went to go do uh, the park run near where I live, so when I'm doing the park run I like to do it at a faster than pace speed. So today I was aiming for about 4.20, 4.30 for my pace, average pace throughout the park run. Uh, so when I'm doing that, when I'm doing the faster speeds, I don't want to really overload my Achilles, so I wear my regular running shoes with the padding with the heel drop. And just putting them on today, it just because I'm so used to having the Kung Fu slippers, it just felt so clunky uh, to begin with, especially. I started to get used to it after a while, but it just feels like there's so much on your feet and it just weighs them down. It's a little harder to actually run. I find it easier to run with less on my feet. So the plan for the rest of this weekend, because it's three weeks out from the marathon, this is my last chance to do a long, long run. So I'm going to be doing about three hours again tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be aiming for about yeah, 31, 32 kilometers, something around that number. And then from next week onwards, my long runs will start to drop significantly. Uh, so probably next week it'll probably be about 25 and the week after it'll be maybe 18 something like that and the week after that is the actual run and I have booked myself in for another podiatrist appointment in just under two weeks so a week and a half from now so he'll be assessing how I'm going how my Achilles is tracking and he'll probably give me a bit of an assessment as to whether or not I can reach the goal of three hours 42 minutes running a marathon in a Kung Fu uniform um, so that whether or not I can actually set the Guinness World Record title but regardless of whatever advice he gives I'm going to be giving it my all and I don't care I'm going to be setting that Guinness World Record title. If you want to check out my latest video about Achilles tendonitis I'll leave a link up here. If you want swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio!